Hi, coffee time. I'm Tulip. Want to join my coffee time? But today, I have come to join you in an open space. A little walk from my home. So pardon me for wearing the sunglasses because I had to have the sun on my face so that I don't get blinded. I put on the sunglasses. But today on the way, walk, I did take my precaution in these times of COVID-19. I bought, I came wearing a mask as I walked and I bought a book today that I'm reading. Lots of people are reading a lot because we have to stay home and read uh, whatever makes you happy. It doesn't have to be a deep read. It doesn't have to be light. It can be anything that you like. Reading is, after all, just for pleasure. So today, I put this on. This is a kukui beads necklace made by people in Hawaii. And it was brought to me by someone who visited Hawaii. But with time and patience, this necklace holds more than just memories of a land or how I got it. So in my Amherst hometown, I move a lot by bus, public transport, which I enjoy a whole a lot because I meet many, many incredible people on the way. So one day while I was waiting for my bus, another fellow passenger had two of these on her neck. And I was curious, so I asked her like, what are these? And so she said she was Faith and I introduced myself first. She said, these are kukui beads from Hawaii. And then she told me another incredible story about these beads. She said, that these are kind of fruits of a tree and the people of Hawaii bury them for a long time, period of six months maybe, under the ground. And there, through the small place where the bead or the fruit hangs on the tree, the ants eat up the kernels. So after the long time, they take it out and they are able to make one more hole at the other end and make this into this necklace. And I thought, wow, how much patience and how much creativity was needed. And you know what she did? Faith, my sudden found friend, our bus came and she took out one necklace over her head and put it into my hand and said, you keep it. Again, first the beads made such a way and her incredible generous heart. Before I could hardly even thank her, her bus left, she inside. But I had no contact information to thank her. I wanted to give something back for this thing, but I couldn't do that either. So I held in to patience. But continuously I would look at it and think of faith and wonder how can I tell her how much I like it, how much of an incredible story is inside this every bed. How the eye and I imagine ants eating them inside the ground in Hawaii, the kernels that fed the ants, and at the same time, we had incredible necklaces. So one day, one winter, I think it was the same winter of the summer that I met with, I went by chance to the farmer's market. I am not a 
farmer's market person much because I'm not into the grocery person in my family. But believe it, I was like stunned to see faith in that market. It was as if my thoughts, my appreciation, and everything had worked their ways into the universe and I found faith. And though I never carry any cash, that day somehow I had some cash in my pocket. I ran to Faith and said like, Faith, I'm so glad to see you. And rambled on about how much I love her necklace. And I said, you know, I can't keep it without giving something in return. And since we didn't have much time, I came straight to the point. Can I give you some money for it? And she said, okay. And so I was able to give Faith something in return. But this necklace to this day holds much more than a necklace. It's a story of patience, story of beauty, story of generosity, story of how kind and loving people can be. So it is a thing of beauty and beauty carries with it time, patience and everything. Today I'm going to honor Kahlil Gibran, my favorite author, artist from his book, The Prophet, a few lines on which he speaks of beauty. Where shall you seek beauty of her except she be the weaver of your speech? The aggrieved and the injured say beauty is gentle and kind. Like a young mother, half shy of her own, Glory that she walks amongst us, and the passionate say, Nay, beauty is a thing of might and dread. Like the tempest, she shakes the earth beneath us and sky above us. The tired and the weary say, Beauty is oft soft whispers, she speaks in our language. But the restless say, we have heard her shouting among the mountains. And with her cries came the sound of hoofs and the beating of the wings and the roaring of lions. So the last lines, roaring of lions and the beating of the wings, the softness, gentleness, and the strength of a lion. That is what beauty is. And patience, that's a special virtue. And today is another day to hope for better days, hope for a beautiful spring, and hope to share coffee with you. I intend to bring my coffee mug with me to show that I am drinking coffee, but it's all the same. You keep that in memories and please enjoy your coffee and tea and stay safe. Thanks to MH Media and the incredible Faith Gregory for putting this all up together for me. Till we meet again, Tulip. Thank you.